Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a very, very, very long time, but I am back and I'm coming today with a eyebrow tutorial video or like a how I do my eyebrows, eyebrow routine, whatever you want to call it. But this is going to be kind of how I do my eyebrows if I was doing a full face. And, and these are the products that you will need in order to complete this look or similar products. It doesn't have to be the exact same product. These are just, these are just the products that I'm going to be using today. Um, and so yeah, today I'm going to be doing just my regular um, eyebrows that I would do for a full face. Um, this, this video is going to be more based on like the um, tactics that I use um, than it is the products. I'm going to show you the products that you need. Um, however, it's more so about like how I do it, but I'm just going to show you the product that I'm going to be using. So you will need a spoolie brush and an angled brush. Mine has both. You will need a flat eyeshadow brush or concealer brush. You will need some kind of eyebrow pomade um, and or an eyebrow powder. The next product is definitely optional, but I'm going to be using a eyebrow grooming pencil. It is really just a wax pencil. And you need some kind of mascara and or um, eyebrow gel. Okay, so to get started, you want to start by just brushing your eyebrows up and over. Bring your in just a little bit. Um, and my eyebrows definitely need, definitely needs to be groomed. Um, don't mind my edges. And don't mind my skin. I'm still working on my skin, y'all. So just, yeah. Focus on the eyebrows. But yeah, brush them all up. Brush them all up. Now I'm gonna take my wax pencil and I'm going to put that all over my brows, brushing them up and brushing them over. So the front part of the eyebrow is gonna go up more so. The end part of the eyebrow is gonna go more so like out toward the eyebrow, out toward the ear. Just brushing them out one more time. Okay, so now you can kind of see what you're working with and like where you have like where your hairs will sit. Um, this will um, help you when shaping them. So now we're going straight into the brows. We're going to be using this angle brush and the pomade, I'm using this three, um, it's like a set from BH Cosmetics and it has a pomade and two um, brow powders. But I'm only gonna be using a little bit of the pomade um, because it's very, very dark, it's like super black. So I'm not gonna use a lot of it. So I'm like taking it and like, warming it up and like putting it on my hand. I suggest if you had something to put it on, I would, cause it, it, it gets everywhere. And so let me explain, I'm starting in the middle of my brow first. And I'm just, creating a line. You can't see it at first, but the more you do it, the line will become more clear. And so I'm just working my way um, from the middle to the outside of the brow. And when I do the outside of the brow, you want to make sure that you are angling, angling it or drawing it toward the ear. And so here's another tip that I just recently learned and started doing is that I used to do one eyebrow and then go back and do the other one, but now I go back and forth between each step. It, this helps um, keep the eyebrows looking as similar as possible. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the inside of the brow, 
but I'm gonna wipe off some of that product from the homemade. I'm gonna use a powder instead. I'm still using an angle brush. If you wanna switch brushes, you can, but I'm not doing all that. I'm gonna take the lighter color in here. And this time I am doing the front of my brow. This side, make sure the, bang, the brush is angled this way for this brow. And for the other brow, it will be angled this way. So you see, you're gonna change it, it's gonna help. As you can see, this brow has more hair than this brow. So what I want to do is create hairs for this one. Okay, so now that we did that, I'm going to take this powder, same, the same lighter color, and I'm going to complete my brows. At the top, you see how I have like this cliff hanger? Like a story. I don't know what this is. Some, somebody done dug a hole in my eyebrows. I don't really know. But I want to connect that with the rest of the brows. Apparently, you know, Jesus got, God got tired whenever he was doing my brows and he just left me hanging right there. But it's all right. So right, cause he also probably with this makeup to fill it in. Now I'm gonna take a little, little, little bit of the dark, the darker powder in here. This one right here. It's a little bit. I mean, a little bit, y'all. I'm gonna make my, just my eyes a little darker. at this point this is going to be based off your eyebrow you can go in and fill in any gaps as you please um, but I just say be careful because sometimes you can fill in too much and the eyebrow has to look too dark so just be careful when filling in Okay, so now the rest is going to be up to this thing right here. And oh, you guys are gonna need some concealer. I'm sorry about that, I didn't mention that. But you're gonna need some concealer. I'm using the LA Girl Concealer in the color Bond. And another thing about this, you wanna use as less amount of product as possible. So I'm taking it and kind of rubbing it. Cause the more product you have, the harder it is to blend out. So if you just have a little bit of product, a little bit will go a long way. So I'm just kind of doing like that to make sure it's all even and I don't have that much on there. I'm going to start right here to create. And I go below my brow because once you go too high, you go too high. But you can always go up a little bit more. And I'm resting my pinky on my, like, my mouth right here. And I'm doing this will help me create some like sturdiness. I'm not like shaking. And sometimes I like pull my hair, my skin just a little bit so that I can, I don't have that skin creating friction. Okay, 
Now we're gonna bring this from my like nose. I go up. Moving on to the next part, we're going to sculpt the top of the brows. And I forgot to tell you guys, I forgot to mention one more product you'll need, but you will need your foundation or a darker concealer. The foundation that I'm using is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. you want to go toward the ear so it's going straight down so you don't get that angry brow look or that I don't know that evil villain eyebrows if you go down you'll get that if you go out toward the ear you'll widen your eyes widen your face and just make your um, eyebrows look a little bit more pleasant okay guys so now I'm gonna do one last step which is the mascara that I tomorrow girl Lisa forever for Putting me on game. Okay, I want to take this little brush. It's kind of like a, I don't know what this is. It's a brush. It's from AOA Studio. It's a brush. I don't know. So I'm going to just blend everything out. And the key to getting the best um, like eyebrow look without that halo effect is to blend everything up. guys so that was it that's pretty much how i would do my eyebrows without doing a full face make sure you comment down below any tips that you may have on how you do your eyebrows share with me share with everyone so that we can all learn how to keep our eyebrows on fleek okay leave me to say fleek anyways yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe down below to see more videos and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video until next time guys